Hello guys, Jose Rodriguez here. In our previous video, we were able to add a Windows 11 agent, okay, under the Windows group. And to do this, we use the web interface, right? To generate, to generate the command, and then we copy paste it on our Windows 11 device using PowerShell. And we were able to install and also enroll the, <coughs> the agent, okay? Um, now, let me show you another way to install and enroll an agent. In this case, we are going to uh, do this for a Windows 10 agent, okay? So what we are going to do is access our Windows 10 uh, instance, okay? This is These are the specifications for uh, my Windows 10 device. It's a 64-bit operating system device, okay? Uh, Windows 10 Professional. Okay, now let's go to uh, the WASA the, the WASA uh, web website. Okay, and if you click on documentation, quick start, installation guide, um, WASA agent, and for Windows. So the way we are going to install the the agent is going to be by downloading the Windows installer. Okay, so remember, we need to complete two, basically two steps. We need to install the 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 agent. So this will this this will create a fi uh, a directory that will contain all the files for this agent, that, including the configuration files, and it will also create uh, a service. Okay. Now the second step is is to enroll that agent, so we can get, um, so we can start collecting information on our manager server, okay? So let's download first the installer. Okay, so we open this. So it's under the downloads folder. And then we can just make double click on it to execute the installer. We accept the terms and then click on install. It will probably ask you for an admin password. Oh. Okay, and now the installation is complete and we will just click on finish. Okay, now if we go to our C drive, um, so there, there is an, an OSEC file, uh, I'm sorry, directory that, that has been created. Um, if your Windows instance is a 64-bit um, device, the folder will be created under program files x86. Okay, here, OSEC agent. If the device that you're using is a 32-bit uh, operating system device, the same folder will be created but under program files. Okay, so we can see that the files were, uh, the folder was created. Okay, and if we access this folder, you can see all the files. And the one that we are going to use for this, uh, for the purpose of this video, is going to be the OSEC uh, configuration file here. Okay. Now, before we do that, we can also uh, validate the creation of the service. Okay, of the WASA serv service. So, if we search for services, you can just open the application, and you can just hit W. And then you can see that this is the service. Okay, so if we access it, as you can see, it, it is not running. Okay, it's just waiting. Um, the uh, start the startup type is automatic. So if we uh, restart our computer, the service will start automatically. But right now, is is not working. It's stopped. So we need to st um, start the service. Okay, but before we do that, we are going to modify the configuration file for this agent. Okay, so we can enroll it um, to our manager server. Okay, so let's click on OK. Let's keep it here. And for the second step, what we are going to do is, this is the installation. Now what we are going to do is going to user manual here. 
and then we have um, Wasu engine and then we have engine enrollment and there are two different methods the one that we are going to use for this video is enrollment via agent configuration okay so we click here it's loading Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so this is enrollment via agent configuration. We expand this and we are going to use Windows. I guess my internet connection is <laughs> kind of slow today. Um, okay, so basically this is what we already... Um, this is what I already mentioned. It. Um, depending on the, the type of operating system that you have, the location of, of the folder um, that contains the configuration files is different, okay? So basically we need to access the configuration file and then um, we need to add this or modify this information, okay? We need to add the IP address for our manager server, okay? So let's go to the folder so this is the file okay so we can open it from here so here's the client section we have the server section so here's what we need to modify now um, you need to be careful because even though you can access the file and you can read the content um, but I think that um, if I'm not mistaken, we don't have um, the, the right privileges to access this folder. Okay, so we can validate this. Let's make right click, check the properties, go to security. And yeah, we are using this, the Stevie Marie um, user. So we can we can only read, but we cannot modify or write on the, on the file. So we need high privileges. Okay, we need to be an administrator um or the system user to do this okay so what we are going to do is we are going to open notepad okay make right click on it run as an administrator and then we are going to open the file from here okay open this pc c drive program files and OSEC da, uh, dash agent, okay? And we need to show all the files and we are looking for OSEC here, this one, OSEC.conf, okay? So let's click on open, here's the file. Let me increase the font size for you so we can see this better. Okay, perfect. So, as I was mentioning before, what we need to do is, let me show you here. So basically, it's, we need to add the IP address for our server, our manager server. Okay, let's put this here. So, if we go back just to, The IP address for our server is 192.168.0.41. Let's copy this. Hopefully it works. So we can delete this. And then make right click, paste. Okay, that's the IP address. So that's the first thing that we need to do. And then the second one is optional, but we are gonna uh, use it because we want to name our agent and also we need to specify uh, the groups, okay? that this agent belongs to. Okay, so this under client, we should have a section that says enrollment. Okay, but if we go here and within client, we don't have any enrollment section. Okay, 
So what we are going to do is copy this. No, oh, just the enrollment. Okay, copy. Here's the file. And after server, I will add that. It's gonna be like this. We don't we don't need these three dots here. Okay. And for groups, if we go back to our server, the group is Windows. Okay, and we, we are going we are going to follow the same syntax for the name. It's gonna be Windows 10. So for groups, I only need Windows and for the name we are going to use Windows 10. Okay, perfect. And that's it. So let's click on file, then save our changes, close this. And then the next step is just, uh, we just need to restart the service. However, uh, if you remember, the service is still not running, okay? It's a stop. So what we are gonna do is we just need to start the service, okay? And, and it will take all the new uh, configurations, okay? So what we are gonna do is you can do it through PowerShell or you can do it via the command prompt. Okay, I'll use the command prompt here. So let's do command prompt. Don't forget to run this as administrator, just in case. Um, and then we are going to do net. We can maybe we can copy this. Let the star was it? Okay, ping ping. Yep, and then hit enter. And now the service is. The service was started successfully, okay? So if we go here, if we update or we refresh, now you can see that the service is running, okay? So we just enrolled our agent so we can start monitoring the, this device, this Windows 10 device in our manager server, okay? So let's go to our manager server. And if we refresh this, We should get a second um, agent. Oops, there is no agent. Let me double see what happened. Um, let's check the connection. I mean, let's let's see if our Windows 10 device is can access or communicate uh, with our man manager server. So we're gonna do ping 192.168.041. Yeah. So I guess the enrollment process is not working. Mm -hmm. So maybe what we can do is, oh, I remember now. The problem is that I have, um, I need to update the firewall from, from this Ubuntu desktop server. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only, it's probably only allowing communication with the specific devices. So let me double check that. So let's clear this. I'm using UFW and secure firewall. Status. Yeah. Yeah, I, I enabled the unsecure firewall application is active and it's only allowing communication between this server and these two devices as you, as you can see. Um, the IP address, let me show you, the IP address for for my Windows 10 device, it ends on 113, and this IP is not part of the of this set of rules, okay? So this is actually why um, when we try to install our Windows 11 device, okay, we didn't have this. We didn't have this issue because th there was a firewall rule for that device. Okay, in your case, if you don't have this application, the unsecured firewall application enabled, if it is inactive, uh, in, in, and if you are, if you don't have any type of firewall, uh, you won't have this issue. Okay, um, so 
what we are going to do is we just need to add a rule for that specific IP address. Okay, for this one. So what we, what we are what, what I'm going to do is I mean, I'm using the unsecured firewall uh, utility, but you can use uh, you need to add if you are using a firewall, don't forget to add a rule in whatever utility or application you are using as a firewall to enable the connection, you know, between the the Windows device and your manager server okay so what i'm going to do is ufw um, allow from 192.168.0.113 okay so i'm basically allowing communication to any port from this this is the ip address for my windows 11 device and this is going to be the ip address for my windows 10 device okay perfect so what we are going to do is the configuration file, the configuration file was already updated. Um, so I guess we just need to stop the service and start the service again. Okay. So to do that, we are going to use the command prompt. Oh, sorry. CLS to clean this, to clear the screen. And we are going to do net instead of a start. We are going to stop the service first. And then we are going to st start the service again. Okay. Oops. Mm -hmm. So now if we go back to our server and we refresh. Yay. The second agent was successfully enrolled to our manager server under the group windows okay so that's nice so two things that you need to consider okay um depending on depending on the type of operating system you have uh or depending on the type of windows system that you're trying to enroll um to your manager server remember that the configuration files or the folder Will, it could be under program files or program files program files x86 okay in this case since my system is a 64 bits it's going to be under this folder and we just um, access it and we need to modify this file okay now remember that you need high privileges to access and modify this file so that's why i uh, started notepad right with high privileges, right? I run I run Notepad as an administrator. So that's one thing. And then the other step is that in case you are using a firewall, okay, on your server, don't forget to add a rule to allow the, the communication from the Windows 10 device to your server, okay? Um, and that's it. Now, in our next video, I'll show you how can you enroll um and a linux agent okay thank you